Hey guys, it's Natasha here. I wanted to share with you a little tip and trick about um, making your own light board. Um, I have seen people use shadow boxes with Christmas lights in them. Uh, some people like to purchase their own actual light boards from Amazon and places like that. Personally, I'm cheap. I would rather not spend something that I can put into possibly, you know, another diamond painting. So I have seen some ideas out there where people suggested tablets um, or large cell phones that possibly nobody uses anymore. And I tell you, it's the best trip that I've ever had in this whole type of world. So um, by looking at the difference for this um, and the app that I use, it's just a, a basic free light box app. You can find them anywhere in your stores. I use Amazon Kindle so it, it's a nice small area and as you can see it makes a world of a difference when you put it underneath your picture. So you've got uh, this area here where it's, it's kind of a very dark um, and hard to see in some spots and then you've got the lit up area and oh my gosh it just it makes it so much easier to see what the symbols are you know where you're putting something um, especially when it comes to things like the gaps, you know, that way you can correct them, which right now I have not corrected any of this. So that's why it looks all janky and messed up as, you know, with the big gaps and the crooked drills. So sorry about that for all those who have their OCD, um, kicking in right now. But this is also something that I wanted to show is uh, a couple people that I, I've shared this tip with have said, well, what about the other part of it that you do? I like to put a matte border around my canvas uh, because not only does it help keep it flat, but it uses that sticky part that goes around it, keeps it clean, but also uses it as that, that border adhesive. So it keeps my border in place. Um, that way I don't have to use glues and things like that, which can warp the canvas or the, the matte picture and doesn't look right in the frame. So as you can see, it really does help with that part of it there as well, because as you are putting it under the, the light board, it also shows right up to the edge of that um, matte board there that I have, the poster board, and so it helps keep you in a better straight line. And of course, you can still pretty much see through it underneath that. So, you know, this just gives an idea as to what it is that um, the light boards can do for you. So when you do have everything going on here, um, the app on the light board makes it so you can touch the screen and nothing changes with the brightness. It doesn't, you know, switch between apps and things like that. So having an actual light box app really does help in a situation like this. And uh, if you're also like me who has to have busy work when the family is watching TV uh, and you don't want to have, you know, that side lamp or the overhead lamp on or even one of those little adjustable desk lamps. I mean, it's one of those little tiny things that can be a nuisance to other people. This is not. You can even adjust the, the brightness to be a, a dimmer than it is already here uh, where you can still see your symbols. but it's not disrupting the people around you. So if you have any suggestions, uh, other tips and tricks that you would like to see for videos, um, or, you know, how you like to use, say, you do use a shadow box with lights, uh, anything like that that you have as, as comments or suggestions, definitely leave below in the comment section, and uh, we'll see about looking into making another video about that later on down the road. So thanks for taking a, a moment to spend with me today. And if you have other questions or concerns, definitely let me know. Of course, like and share so everybody else can share with this as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.